Landmines and unexploded munitions kill and maim their victims decades after the original conflict is little more than an ugly memory. Only when these deadly hazards are removed can communities realize the benefits of a return to peace and further promote stability and security. The United States has been a leading contributor to international demining efforts, providing more than $2.3 billion in assistance to over 90 countries since 1993. And according to a new U.S. State Department report called To Walk the Earth in Safety, the United States provided over $142 million in 2013 to help 49 countries secure or eliminate loose ordnance and unexploded mines. In Africa, U.S. efforts include an initiative to safeguard armed stockpiles and destroy light weapons in the Sahel and the Maghreb, and helping Mozambique stay on track toward achieving landmine impact-free status in 2015. In East Asia, U.S. efforts include funding for a survivor assistance program in Burma, support for clearance operations and capacity building for Pacific Island nations, and a new agreement with Vietnam to eliminate unexploded ordnance there. In South and Central Asia, U.S. efforts include significant assistance to Afghanistan, which has one of the world's highest levels of landmine and explosive remnants of war contamination, and helping former Soviet satellite countries deal with Soviet-era munitions. In Europe, U.S. efforts in the Balkans, Caucasus, and Ukraine largely focus on securing and destroying stockpiles of aging munitions and excess arms, as well as clearance operations. In Latin America, U.S. efforts include support for programs in Colombia, Ecuador, Honduras, and other Latin American countries, largely focusing on mine clearance and curbing small arms and light weapons trafficking. No human being should be afraid to go out and fetch firewood. No traveler should fear to just wander down a hillside path. No mother should worry that her child is going to run around and play, but might be blown up and, and uh, never to return safely from school. The United States is also destroying U.S. stockpiles of anti-personnel landmines and eliminating U.S. use of the devices, other than those required for the defense of South Korea, moving one step closer to the goal of a world free from anti-personnel landmines.